Hey everyone, welcome back to Miss Child's Classroom, where today we're going to be reading a book called Neon Leon. This book is by Jane Clark and illustrated by Britta Tegkentrump. I hope I said that right. Leon is a chameleon. He is in this picture. Which chameleon do you think is Leon? Chameleons can change color to match their surroundings. Where do you think the chameleons are going? Let's turn the page and find out. The chameleons are in a leafy jungle and they've all turned green. They match. They're hard to spot, aren't they? Well, except for Leon. He's still orange. What do you think will happen when the chameleons go to a sandy desert? <coughs> yes! They match. The chameleons have all turned yellow. Well, except for Leon. He's still orange. Hmm, let's see if Leon can do any better in the big gray Rocky Mountains. Can you help him this time? Tell Leon what color he should turn. Gray. Yeah, gray. gray. Uh, I don't think he can hear you. Can you say it louder? Gray. All the chameleons are hidden among the rocks. They match, but has Leon changed color? No. no. He's still very orange. Poor Leon. Maybe he'll feel better after a good night's sleep back in the jungle. Let's say good night, Leon. Good night, good night Leon. Leon. And we'll softly turn the page. Oh dear, Leon's so bright. He's keeping all the other chameleons awake. What a lot of grumpy chameleons. And then Leon looks very sad. Where's Leon going now? Do you think he's looking for somewhere he can fit in? Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Look, he's found the perfect place already. Everyone here is orange, just like Leon. He matches. But oh no. The birds are flying up, up into the bright blue sky. Maybe they've gone to find something to eat. And now Leon doesn't fit in anymore. Whisper, don't worry, Leon. Everything will be okay. Don't worry, Leon. Everything will be okay. But what's that over there in the corner of the page? Could it be something orange? Yep. Yeah. Hurry, Leon. Uh, but Leon can't walk very fast, can he? We'd better give him a bit of time. So let's count to 10 and then turn the page. One, One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. At last, Leon's found a place he can fit in. All the flowers are orange. And look, Leon's happy. Let's all clap our hands and smile, smile, smile with him. But there's one thing that would make Leon even happier. Can you guess what that is? Another change in color. A family. That's right. Leon's found a friend. Can you spot them both? It's a perfect match. The end. Actually, on the very back page, take a look. They're hiding. The end. Now, this book is actually interesting because my friends and I took a field trip to the Cleveland Botanical Garden and we met a chameleon there and we actually learned why chameleons change colors and it's not to hide from predators and it's not to camouflage from the food that they're trying to catch, but it's to help communicate with other chameleons. And so obviously that's why Leon was having a hard time because he was having trouble communicating with other chameleons. So anyway, if you want to check that out, I actually have a video of the potato garden on my channel. Check that out. But until next time, I will see you later. Bye everyone.